Mental and emotional health. When the COVID-19 shutdowns began, everyone was reacting, going and buying toilet paper, hand sanitizer, soap, and all those things are good, but mental and emotional health kind of took a step back and people were reacting, which is totally human. And here at Zen's Tea House, we were getting phone calls. Hey Zen's, do you have any tea to help boost the immune system, fight colds? Yes, 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 viruses, we have that. We got our immunity elixir, which we pretty much sold out of. And then we went to our elderberries, which I literally had to call people up saying, I know you bought a couple pounds, would you be okay with just one pound? And guess what? That's human nature. People react and that's totally okay, but it's not sustainable. When people are looking at their mental health, they have to consider things like emotional wellness, taking breaks, breathing, sleep, exercise, diet. Here at Zen's Tea House, we've been educating people about natural health and holistic healing since we started, which was in 2012. And we had a database full of videos, educational content available on our website, www.zenstea.com. But it was kind of disheartening to hear so many people saying, do you have a tea for depression? Do you have a tea for anxiety? And yes, we would forward them the information and the articles, but things still haven't changed. Even in the year 2022, more people are feeling anxious, alone, and isolated. And so I don't want to repeat the same message of how's your diet? How's your nutrition? How's your sleep? Yes, you can take a break from looking at your phone and the news and all this uh, extra stimulating, overindulging of social media and more. Don't want to promote that message. Instead, I want to take a time to tell you that there are little, little easy steps, completely free, does not require any purchase of a tea, to help improve your mental and emotional health. The first one is letting go. Taking a break and stopping and letting people know that you need a mental health break. Even to say it to yourself, saying, you know what, today is not easy, I'm having a difficult time right now, please give me a minute. Anyone who's ever worked with me knows <laughs> that that's a practice that I take very seriously and I promote for my staff, my coworkers, my own family and friends to say it's all right to take a mental health break. In fact, it's completely natural and normal and really it improves our sense of being. Now, human interaction. We are human creatures and we love to socialize. And when many of us were isolating because of fear that we might cause some harm, whether of a virus or just fear frustration, which we saw a lot of people very frustrated and irritable. That is, that shows that there are underlying issues, but that doesn't mean that we have to stay separated forever. In fact, there are many people who have come in and said, look, Fernando, I've been isolated for several months. For some people, it was almost a year. And when they had that interaction, a handshake, a hug, they broke down crying. If you don't take my word for it, you can talk to the chiropractors and acupuncturists who are interacting with people who've isolated themselves. Isolation is not sustainable. And we human beings need to interact. It's what is required for not only adults, but children especially. Human beings need to be interacting with one another. And that's just something that we're not going to be able to separate or take shots to overcome. That's just not reality. So those are the two main points is number one, taking a break. Number two, interacting. And number three, which I've said all the time, is diet and nutrition. What you put in your body is the fuel for not only your heart, but your mind and your soul. How we treat the body will reflect how we treat others. So as we enter into the new year, let us remember that not everything can be solved with a T, that there's just some things that we're going to have to go through step by step because we're human beings. If you have any suggestions, any comments or health, mental health tips, please leave them in the comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like more, can if you like more content like this, uh, please let us know. All right. For more information, please take a look at the website, www.zenstea.com. Dot com.